Nobody style, you know, we all bring something different. You know, we, we a family, we're a real family. Coach Tech. Hard work, family, um, overcoming um, adversities and champions. Coach Manu. Take no prisoners. Um, we go to work, we putting up 30 on you. Uh, we get beat, we take our lick, we come back, get our shit back. Coach D. Elite, passionate, defensive, hard. This just sounds everything up right there. Coach Z. If you close to him and he got the ball, trap him. All right, you two, you two right here. Boom. Up top. Y'all don't buy it. We follow him everywhere he goes. If you get the ball, we trap him. All right? You know what I mean? One man, I said, we all trap him. We all together. 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 We all
Hey, 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 and told there was no one more, no outburst between me, either one of us, he don't call the game. And, you know, like I said, you know, I, I, had, I wasn't giving the referee no problem. Players uh, got five when we you know we made a, made a layup, you know, and uh, score. So, you know, uh, he got mad, man, and he went off on the referee, and the referee called the game. For what? Why? Hold on, you can't just call the game. What? Why well, you talking about worst time you seen all type of shit happen? Niggas fighting and everything. We talking about niggas talking right now? You talking about talking, man. You got you cannot do high school. Over you cannot call? You, you cannot, cannot do high school. Come on. You cannot do high school, man. That's why you fighting against the game. Man, I'm so old. I'm so old. I'm so old. I'm so old. Everybody's pitching. We drive like 50 minutes away, you know, to come to that gym. You know, so I mean, we, and we and we balling at this time. Did you pay for this? No. And then like I say, man, this, this ain't even no free money. I, I ain't paid money for this. Talk about three hundred fifty dollars. I ain't paid for money not to play the game, bank. Three hundred fifty dollars. Three hundred fifty dollars. What is your record? 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 Jess, Jess, it's running. You it's running. You can call one referee. It's running. Don't participate in forfeit. Come on. What I said. Like, like, like I said. If the piece of my name is on one referee. You should make the fans and just be over there and quiet and shut up oh, okay. in a basketball oh, game. I see. I just, ain't not, I'm not getting no benefit out of the kids not playing. That's not benefit for me. I'm a coach too. So what am I going to lose? I, I, okay. I, I, so, so what I'm saying is. I told them to go ask your big boy, and then the guy with the beard that's on the other team. They kept going at it. My job is to take them out because they I, I, are the strongest game. I, 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 listen, listen. I respect what you said. I, I, I have no argument with you at all. All I'm just saying, if I can't finish okay, so this game, I, I, I just want my money back. I'm getting ready to come. So I'm saying, my parents paid me for the tournament, and that's I'm not the best I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was getting ready to do. The game, man. You know, the game was close. You know, I, I, the coach, I already feel like they already had the heat. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. And the ref, huh? Yeah, let's go. You know, like I say, we really technically won about four fit of them, so we finna go to the show. You know, we finna see what's going on when we get there. We ain't quitting like this. Just a bogus move by him. Uh, so, you know, I contacted the tournament director. Uh, you know, I just let him know, like, man, you know, we finna come over there, we need to have a conversation. I explained to him what happened. He said, that's all good, just come in and holler at me when you get here. I mean, that's exactly what I did. We get into the room. Um, you have all the directors and everyone that's uh, that's in charge of the, at the event at that time. Um, so, you know, I'm telling them my story, let them know what's going on. They finally call the coach in. The coach is just being real arrogant. You know, he, he's not playing. The ref called the game. And they the team to be in a championship, so so I'm just like, no, they ain't even way it went. So uh, they went in also as, as deep as calling the referee um, that that officiated the game at the time. So 
the the referee, you know, pretty much uh, uh, told him like, well, you know, the the coach from GSW, you know, he was uh, he was uh, just the whole game, you know, complaining about every call, every call. Um, but the only twist on that, um, you know, he the, the referee said that he believed GSW was the better team, which we totally disagree. So that's why they kind of lean towards giving them, you know. Uh, let them go on to the championship game, but it even got to the point to where one of the directors said that we can finish the game uh, with the time that was left on the clock at the Coliseum where we was at, no, at the, at the Cobb Gallery where we was at, but the coach did not want to do it. So we actually spent an hour, hour and a half of pretty much about nothing. So what we just saw, just to get us? It's a white and black man. So then it just come from, you got a whole 10, 12 security. Like they they over there then, then like bump rush us to get out, you know. So that just, you know what I mean? At that, at that time, you know, it just turned to one. It just it just, it just just flickered so quick. Because, um, you know, then, you know, they got to touching us, uh, you know, trying to tell us to go. So, you know, we just tell them, man, don't, don't touch us, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just don't touch us. We ain't did nothing to nobody. And, I mean, and it just one thing led to another. I was told, like, uh, I, I was raised on, uh, don't ever let nobody push, push it, like, no, not just not put, putting your hands on you or nothing, like, don't be weak, stand firm, and, and, and me coaching, I'm, I got kids who, you know, looking up to us, and, and we, you know, we gotta stand firm on what we teaching them, otherwise, it's, it, it's, it's invalid to them. You know, so we leaving and uh, the security guards like, you know, we tell them why we're finna leave, you know, and the security guards say, no, nah, you leaving at this moment. And from there, it 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 was it was, it was changing words with like, all right, man, you know, we're going to leave, but you're not going to push up on us like that. He said, you know, words was just changed back, back and forth. And, uh. It got to the point where he felt he needed to grab a, a gun. Well, uh, like I say, I'm, I'm standing with my kids, my parents, my coaches. And I felt, I felt threatened at that point. You know, about the, you grabbing the gun, I'm with my boys, like, we're, we're, we're. It was a blur to me, so it's either it was a split second decision on my on my behalf that I felt that needed to take place. And I tell the man, don't grab the gun. I turn around and look, he's grabbing the gun. And instincts kick in. I you no, know, I approach him and I strike him. Now I'm not sitting to beat on my chest, say, you know, that that's a thing to do, but Growing up where I grew up and where I come from, guns and people don't need. I lost friends to gun violence, family. But I'm with my boys and, and I love this more than anything I do in life. Like I got my own kids, but I'm with my boys. It feel like my kids, so it's like I gotta protect them at this point. And I acted on nature, as any man I feel any man would. 